Hello, everybody. Father Stephen Abrado of ProtestChildKilling.com. ProtestChildKilling.com coming to you from Florida. So it's good to be with you today. Yesterday, I talked about the State of the Union Address and the State of Our Soul last night. Here in the United States was the State of the Union Address. President Joe Biden telling us what the state of our country is. And obviously, it's not good. If Joe Biden is the president of the United States, and he is not necessarily legitimate president of the United States, but president of the United States nonetheless, we are in very serious, sad shape. This man is depraved. This man is a spiritually dead man walking. This man is a, is a angry man, a, a vindictive man. And of course, this is what you're going to see after decades of obstinate uh, perseverance, obstinate perseverance in manifest grave sin, manifest grave evil. He, he stood before you if you watch. Now, I didn't watch the State of the Union address, but immediately upon waking up this morning, uh, video clips and uh, uh, commentary, reactions, responses uh, were all over the place. So uh, it was easy to get a sense of it. Maybe uh, a subjective sense of it, but uh, 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 look, at if, if the speech, the performance, the situation was half, only half as bad, if there was some balance of half as bad as what I saw, then it's still a horror show. 
So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the depravity of the United States and that basically this is us. This is a reflection of who we are. So let's pray and then uh, we're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit more about this. All right. Again, we're in the month of St. Joseph, the month of my patron saint, March 19th. Just uh, what is that? 11 days away. My birthday, my 72nd birthday, St. Joseph, spouse of Mary, intercede for us. St. John of God is the saint of the day. Check out my mass from this morning. St. John of God tells us, The Son of Man died for sinners, and we are bound to seek their conversion. I am unfaithful to my qualifying neglect this, but I admit that I know of no sinner in my hospital except for myself. So St. John in his self-reflection realizes there's no greater sinner. This really is the true attitude that we should have. Not some sense of false humility where we say, all right, we are uh, sinful. And yet the way we come across, uh, clearly we can, uh, we're showing that we don't really believe. I talk a little bit about that in my homily this morning, so check out my Mass and my homily. We had Eucharistic Adoration before Mass from the St. Padre Pio Chapel, right on the other side of the wall, right here, the St. Padre Pio Chapel, so check that out. I am Father Stephen Abarato of protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. You can subscribe to my Rumble and YouTube channels through Protest Child killing.com. Let's start off as we do in prayer each and every day by invoking St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God. Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's consecrate ourselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary as we do each and every single day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs. Morning and weeping is valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, his eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy the promise of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech. I'm sorry, remember, O most blessed Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee. O Virgin of Virgins, our mother to you, we come before you, we stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency, hear and answer us. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters of Christ, I'm Father Stephen Abrado of protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com, coming to you from Florida. And we're going to talk about the State of the Union last night that I spoke about yesterday, but really the depravity that we find ourselves in in this country, in the United States. And of course, as the, the United States goes, so goes the world. Now, not the whole world. The whole world surely is not depraved as the United States is. We are idolaters. We are serving mammon. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And that was on display last night. So let's talk about that. All right. So uh, on my Facebook page today, just two hours ago, on display last night for the whole world to see a depraved, spiritually dead man walking. The whole spectacle was an ev evil horror show. This was biblical, biblical.
This was biblical, should drive us to our knees, begging God for mercy. There is no other proper response. And that's it. I mean, if we really care what's going on in this country, we need to be praying, we need to be fasting, we need to be offering up reparation, right? Because that's the only way things are going to turn around. Right, complaining about it is not in and of itself going to turn things around. We need to turn our lives around. Smoke of the evil one permeating from the podium right before our eyes. The only thing missing was green vomit spitting from his mouth, or was it? Pray to rosary every single day. Lots of Catholics voted for him, come to Minnesota. We lost the whole state because Americans want abortion and DEI. Yeah, I mean, 50% of Catholics, more than 50% of Catholics. No president has been elected in this country without more than 50% of the Catholic vote. You need more than 50% of the Catholic vote to win the presidency in this country. So Catholics uh, elected Joe Biden. Colorado is leading the march to hell. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but of course, they're all stones, so they don't realize uh, that they're on their way to hell. Uh, and everybody's saying, I didn't watch it, I didn't watch it, I didn't watch it. Well, you know, you, don't, you didn't have to watch it to know what's going on. So universally, people who follow me know exactly what happened last night, all right? But let's look at the bigger picture last night. So you have Joe Biden, the president, just mumbling, incoherent, as he normally is. But then you have the Speaker of the House uh, with all these facial expressions. You have... Uh, Marjorie Green screaming like a lunatic from the gallery, like this is, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, the whole thing was a horror show. Re remember the entire United States government, the entire leadership of the United States was in this building. The president, the House, the Senate, the leadership of the House and Senate, and the Supreme Court. Uh, Joe Biden criticized the Supreme Court. It seemed as if the Supreme Court maintained their decorum. I didn't see anything about any weird facial expressions or anything like that. They seemed pretty stoic. But what about this uh, Marjorie Green? Is that what she got? A, she uses two names, right? I mean, this woman is unhinged, and she is kind of like the poster child now for Republican elected women. Uh, between her and uh, Bosert, the uh, one from Colorado, who I think is just completely off the rails. Uh, you have Nancy Mace. She's completely off the rails. Uh, what is going on with the Republican Party? This is the resistance. The Republican Party is almost as depraved as the Democratic Party. Now, the telltale sign of this being a reality is that, again, this is about depravity. This is about obstinate perseverance and manifest grave sin. You have the party of commission, the Democrats, who think it's okay to kill babies up to the day of birth. 
And you have the Republican Party, the party of omission, that thinks that the 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 uh, response to that is a 15-week ban with rape and incest exceptions that kills 95% of the babies. This this is this is a depravity. This is the depravity that's before us. And you remember Jesus talked about uh, that impurity comes from within, from within. So you saw that, whether it be facial expressions, whether it be verbiage, right? Whether it be reactions during or after, whether it be Joe Biden spewing the hate and the evil that is the entire Democratic Party, whether it be those clapping for his depravity, right? It, it was a horror show and it should drive us to our knees. This was, this was evil of a biblical proportions. This was the, the uh, people of Israel going completely off the rails, completely off the rails. Even the good people being sucked in by the evil. And remember, that's where we get the word depraved in this particular situation, idolatry, political idolatry, political power. These people represent us. So this Marjorie Green, do you think you're representing us by just catcalling? It, it, it does not help the situation. And the, Democrat, and, the, and the Republicans have no right to stand there and choose the moral high ground. Now, this, isn't, this video is not a, a, a criticism of the Republicans, because surely the, the one thing we can say about the Republicans, and unfortunately, this is a pretty flimsy excuse for people to vote for Republicans. Well, at least they're better than the Democrats. Well, that's no bar at all. I mean, when you think the Democrats are like snakes slivering in the dirt, eating dirt, what does it say about the Republicans that the only thing good that we can say about the Republicans is that, that they're better than the Democrats? And so these are our representatives. This is the Republic. This is the United States. This is a reflection of us. We vote for these people. They represent us. Does that anger you? It angers me because none of them represent me. This is not who I am. Surely not depraved. I hope not. I am a sinner. Yes, to say I'm not a sinner is is would be deceiving myself, would be a liar, as St. John talks about, right? But to be compromisers, you know, it's it's just and, and this is the anger and the hate, the vitriol that is in our government right now. They hate each other. And I will tell you, so if you know, my so here here's my advice to the Republicans. They hate your guts. And so if you're going to stand opposite the hate, why don't you stand opposite the hate, the void of compromise? Why don't you stand on moral absolutes? Why don't you stand up unequivocally for life, marriage, and family? Abolition of abortion through constitutional personhood from the moment of conception. The sanctity of marriage between a man and a woman, blessed by God. the sacredness of traditional marriage. And stop acquiescing to all the sinfulness to somehow say that we can be the answer to this depravity by being only somewhat depraved. That is not the answer. That can never be the answer. You want to be the shining light on a hill? Be the shining light on the hill. And stand up for moral absolute. Stand up for God. Stand up for abolition. Become the party of Lincoln. And don't be afraid of losing. 
If you lose standing on moral absolutes, if you lose standing on the Constitution, so be it. So be it. All right, here's some other stuff I want to talk about. So six years ago today, I found out that I was going to be on EWTN for my birthday. So on my birthday in 2018, I was at EWTN. I was still working for Priest for Life. I would have about, what, nine more months with Priest for Life before I resigned. All right, again, four years ago today, we had the situation where the church was, no, four years ago, coming up next week, where the church was deemed non-essential and abortion was deemed essential health care. So I talk a lot about that. You're going to hear a lot about that. And it all came from, you know, us not um, uh, adamantly, resolutely determined to adhere to Evangelium Vitae. So I wrote this two years ago. Let's talk about American freedom. Much of it is rooted in cheap mobility and freedom to travel our great country and elsewhere. If we look at the price of gas over the decades, it is clear that the liberal Democrats dr drastically restrict our freedom through high energy prices, with Obama and Biden being the latest and worst oppressors. Apart from the environmental wingnuts, Every average American needs to reject this thuggery at the polls in November. And remember, high energy prices affects all retail products. Lenten reflection, souls in purgatory amongst Christ's least, insofar as they cannot help themselves in their suffering. We should all have a serious devotion to the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them. All right, so here's another aspect of the depravity, the horror show that you witnessed last night. We have had government-sanctioned, government-funded, government-protected daily mass murder of a totally vulnerable and excluded constitutional class to pre-born for over half a century with one party pushing it and the other party ignoring it. No wonder we witnessed the public manifestation as a result of this depravity when they all come together in the same room, right? So that pretty much sums up what I just said before about last night. I didn't see any of last night live, but a few clips this morning, our government is completely depraved and it was right, and it was right there for everyone to see, right? All right, March 23rd, I'm gonna be in New York City at the Gift of Life Walk. So go to person personhoodeducationny.com, personhoodeducationny.com, 11 o'clock at Foley Street on the 23rd. I'll be speaking. Bishop Coffey will be there. Let's see what else we have. Let me see. I, I took some screenshots. Let's see if I have any of those that are still up. I'm going to see uh, Cabrini tomorrow. Um, so far, uh, the reviews have not been good. I talked about all this stuff. Okay, 
All right, I'm Father Stephen Abrado of ProtestChildKilling.com, ProtestChildKilling.com. Let's say a Hail Mary for those who are struggling with physical and spiritual trials and tribulations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All right, so let's uh, pray for the Pope, bishops, and priests. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who through his death and resurrection has given us the hope of eternal happiness with you, Father. Send your Holy Spirit upon the Pope, all bishops, and all priests, that they may be for us bold witnesses of faithful love for the church and remain for us examples of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John of God, St. Joseph, St. Stephen, intercede for the Pope, all bishops, and all priests, especially in our hour of need. Our Lady of Guadalupe, intercede for conversion of the world and the end to abortion. Amen. So I talked that I'm going to see Cabrini tomorrow. So two reviews that I've read, I mean, just excoriating. I mean, just really pretty bad. And this is a second excoriating review, uh, review I've read now, looking forward to seeing it more than ever. We already know she is a saint. I hope she's portrayed as human, but I'm getting a sense now that her humanity is being reduced to that of an action hero in an evil world. God help us. So my friend Dave said, I'm beginning to wonder the same thing. Haven't seen it yet. We need to focus on the fact that this is not a Catholic production. And thus our saints are simply stated, just not understood, whether by design or through ignorance, hopefully the latter, I think. All right. Okay. All right, very good. So I'm Father Stephen Browder, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Uh, let me go back to my Facebook page here and see where we're at. So realestateforlife.org, realestateforlife.org. If you're buying a home or selling a home, uh, again, uh, Moving from a, a blue state to a red state. I hope you're not moving from a red state to a blue state. From a uh, blue state to a red state. Uh, if you are uh, moving from a red state to a red state within a red state, you're buying or selling a home. Realestateforlife.org. Realestateforlife.org. Tell them I sent you. You can designate a pro-life activist of your choice. For instance... A pregnancy resource center, that's what I would advise you to do. Choose a pregnancy resource center and have a portion of this realtor's commission go to that activist or that organization of your choice. Pregnancy resource centers are truly in the need for funds, all right, uh, for, for the good work that they're doing. So realestateforlife.org, realestateforlife.org. TheMensMarch.com, TheMensMarch.com, and RallyForPersonhood.com, RallyForPersonhood.com. Uh, I'm a co-founder of The Men's March and Rally for Personhood. Again, all these URLs, all these links, these websites can be found at ProtestChildKilling.com. That's the featured link. You see the link right there. Click on it now. And uh, as you click on it, uh, please... Uh, uh, subscribe to my Rumble and YouTube channel. Pretty close to the top on the left-hand side, you'll see all the icons for the different social media platforms. Please click on YouTube, subscribe, uh, like, right? Uh, uh, like the videos, like as much videos, a lot of likes, a lot of likes, so the distribution gets up there. I just did the uh, video that we did the other day on Church Militant has over 2,000 views, so that's really wonderful. I just talked to somebody from Church Militant this morning at length on the phone, a very dear friend of mine, and I do have friends at Church Militant, and we are wishing them well. 
All right, so my brothers and sisters of Christ, Father Stephen Imbrato, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Again, we pray for those who have physical and spiritual trials and tribulations, afflictions every day, suicidal ideation, clinical depression, cancer, heart disease, strokes, diabetes. Pray to Hail Mary for them. Uh, we pray for the Pope, bishops, and priests already. Remember the daily offering, your daily offering each and every single day, where you unite uh, everything that you do to Jesus, and you ask Jesus to uh, shed his mercy down upon all of your intentions. That's how we pray ceaselessly, pray without ceasing, turn our day into a prayer. Our daily offering, the first bookend of the day, and then at night, an act of contrition and examination of conscience. All right, Our Lady of America.com, Our Lady of America.com. You see the statue of Our Lady of America, the exact image here. Our Lady of America.com for devotees of Our Lady of America. The original website, the original website of Sister Mildred, the seer of Our Lady of America. Everything that you need. Uh, is there. I'm Father Stephen Arado, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Again, uh, subscribe to my Rumble and YouTube channels that you can access through protestchildkilling.com. Check out my Mass from this morning. I must say, I thought the homily was very good this morning. It's about being near Jesus and what the implications of that is or the reality of that is being near Jesus, near the kingdom of God uh, and how that should affect us. Uh, my friend from Church Militant that I spoke of, uh, to this morning, um, she said that a reflection that I gave, uh, a, a day of recollection that I gave to them a year ago, December, had a tremendous impact on her. It's not the first time that she told me, but the greatest impact that it had on her and I think others is something that I want you all to remember. It's most important. And, and let me put it this way. It's the way I always put it, right? The goal of every Catholic should be that at some point in their lives, for the rest of their lives, they become daily communicants, daily mass goers. The mass is the source and summit of our lives doesn't matter what mass you go to. It doesn't matter what form, what rite. Any valid mass. Our goal as Catholics should be that at some point in our lives, for the rest of our lives, we immerse ourselves in the source and summit of our lives, the holy sacrifice of the mass. This is the promise of eternal salvation. Jesus cannot deny us if we make a heartfelt effort to go to Mass every single day. Amen? Amen. All right. Father Stephen Abrado, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Again, please share this video, one share per group, one share per page, and invite your family and friends to join us each and every single day. From my Mass earlier, Father Imbarato live here. Uh, uh, uh. Well, let me give you a blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go out into the world today, my friends, and give him heaven.